Are you stuck playing in low elo and can't find a squad to play with consistently, but is very eager to become a better player? Then this might be the series for you. Basically, I would nitpick scenarios of myself, my team, and even my opponents, regardless of whether the outcome was a win-loss for both parties, to help us make better decisions in the next rank game we play. And with that, let's get on to the video. During this game, Ella was the top fragger for the opposing side. This is key because to start the round off, Nock and Zofia decided to push basement where Ella was waiting. And of course, this being low ranks, they did not drone her out, resulting in the death of our top fragger. Now Zofia admirably tries to get a refrag but fails in doing so, leaving us in a 3 versus 5 scenario 30 seconds into the round. With the help of the Dalkabi call, we are able to pinpoint Ella's location, top white stairs. However, if you've ever seen Star Wars, then you would know that having the high ground has its advantages. Thus, I wanted to be patient and called for my teammate to drone her out. Surprisingly, Ella was unaware of our positioning and decided to recklessly run into us, resulting in me getting a freebie. I then droned out lower bridge into sight to survey the situation. I then made the decision to take vertical control after spotting a Mira window, which is why I initially chose Sledge. And right on cue, Frost was holding an angle on blue stairs, and I was ready for it. I began the demolition upstairs while playing cautiously at the same time. At this point, I had totally forgotten about my pre-placed drone in Skybridge. And this drone in Lower Bridge. I could have repositioned them and had someone keep an eye on them while I was making vertical angles, and avoid wasting time worrying about my flanks while possibly making a drop from the control room hatch. While this was happening, my two teammates were pushing security room, wherein Doki B killed Echo and Mira in that instance. Looking back at the situation, had I remembered, or had someone reminded me that I still had two active drones, I would have scouted the site instead of opening this angle that got me killed. But even after my timely demise, we were still in a good spot. As you can see, Dokebi and Blackbeard have site control over security, and can easily put the diffuser down. But instead of planting, these two decided to push Azami, even though their intel on her was lacking. While Blackbeard was in full-on sprint mode for some reason, he gets caught with his pants down and gets picked off. I'd also like to point out that both had one available drone in their pockets prior to the last engagement, meaning that if they wanted to get the kill, they could have easily droned a zombie out as there were 30 seconds remaining in the round, which was plenty enough to get crucial information. What should have been an easy post-plant situation now turns into a 1v1 instead. Still, not all hope is lost. Notice this drone in the bottom red stairs, but no one, including myself, is actually on it to at least try and ping Azami's sound call, even perhaps her exact location. Feeling the pressure of the moment, Dokebi decides to stick the plant, all the while being oblivious to Azami's location, and is immediately killed after getting the bomb down. See how these individual mistakes cost us our precious ranked points when in hindsight, we could have had a guaranteed overtime round and possibly a win. If you find this video helpful, be sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts down below, share it with your friends, and make sure to subscribe, as these things will help with the YouTube algorithm in the process of growing my channel and hopefully a community. Thanks for watching and remember to get good!